First of all, it's a pleasure to talk to both of you guys. I'm fans of both of your work. Thank you. You always hear about war films and boot camp training. Was there an art boot camp for this to know about this stuff? I think we brought to it whatever we already knew or whatever research we brought to it. We did yeah. have boot camp. Okay. We had 10 days of having haircuts, um, beard shavings in my case, um, costume fittings, and we did a lot of learning how to drive these impossible vehicles that we had to drive. That's right, we had yeah, the Jeeps. Two yeah. hours every afternoon we had to go wow. drive three different kinds of vehicles because nobody knew what cars we'd really be driving until they staged the scenes. And right? a little, little bit of uh, slinging, slinging and handling weapons properly, uh, which, which we would have picked up. Not that our guys would have been expert by any means at it, yeah. uh, but just so it didn't look too awkward. Kind of the beauty of this cast is is you're all going into this, and this was a real story. How much were you aware that the, all this art was missing? I wasn't. Um, I, I I knew about Goebbels, uh, or not Goebbels, uh, but during uh, uh, his theft, mm -hmm. um, his predilection for for stealing from the Louvre and from the Jeu de Palm. Um, but I, did, I, did, I didn't know uh, the magnitude of it. I uh, was just uh, astounded by it. And, and then I found out how, how huge these crimes were. I think recently in December of the uh, last year, yeah. they found well, a more. trove of $1.3 billion of art was found in, in Munich that was directly, it actually was art saved by the monuments men who got hoodwinked by this, this uh, duplicitous character in, in Munich. And, and, it's, and the, the art, the miracle is that the art is, is back. And they're trying to restore it to the rightful owners, but if most people, they're dead. It's second and third generation. It's very hard to trace it. But at least they found it. Yeah, yeah. But you can only imagine if they found that, what else there is lurking yeah, around that yeah. hasn't been found yet. Yeah, well, it's an interesting story because there's a, a very um, humanistic approach. And it's, a very, it's almost a light approach as, a, as an intense drama. Did you find that on the set there was kind of that bond with you guys? Yeah, that was almost immediate, okay. uh, and I think that is because everybody's respect for George, um, and the respect that he he gave all of us, uh, and the preparation that he'd done, the work that he put into it, and the amount of joy that he brought to the to the project. Um, it, it was just a pleasure to go to work every day. Uh, what about you? I love being a part of this thing. I love the fact that we had a story to tell that was important, that I really cared about. And I love the fact of working with all these people that I admire so much, all of whom I knew in varying degrees. Uh, yeah. But it's a real pleasure to work with people that are at, this, at, at the top of their game. You learn a lot, you have to try harder, and, uh, and our director was a wonderful leader.